downgrading of it. And it doesn't melt in. Well, there is the unmistakable charismatic character of Henderson Milton and John Whitaker. Show Jumping's answer, of course, to Desert Orchid, and both of them at the top of their form. Well, John Whitaker led after the first two legs here on Thursday and Saturday evenings, and is on a zero score at the moment. But he's only just one fence in front of Frankie Sluthak of Germany, who has also just jumped a brilliant clear round. So, to maintain the pressure now, it is absolutely vital for John to jump clear again with Milton. And look at that for a jump. This is a very big course set by Olaf Peterson. Five foot three, five foot four, the upright spreads of just under six foot, but Des is absolutely making nothing of that. Cross that wide parallel and on to 11. And the crowd are absolutely hushed. They sense a champion coming up. The water and the second part of that dog leg, which is very difficult. And he's there, there, and John Whitaker maintains the leading position. Well, there we are at the end of the first round then. John Whitaker maintaining his lead as he had done right the way through the competition on a zero score. Moving up second place now is Germany's Frankie Sluthek with just six penalties. Jan Tops dropping back to third with Doreen Lasilla for Holland. Then comes Roger Yves Bost of France and Pierre Durand of France also just a half a point behind him. Nick Skelton is there in sixth place and Michael Whitaker seventh. And a great roar of excitement goes up now for John Whitaker with Milton. What a partnership. And it's not often that this partnership has offered it on a plate. Three fences in hand over Pierre Durand and Japalou. But in show jumping, anything can happen. Oh, my word. A little bit close to that. Now settle down, John. Look at this power of that horse over there. The audience is really appreciating this. This is class jumping. Just the last double of waters and the final fence. Oh, John Steady. Oh. He's there. He's there. And so the spell has been broken. The very first Volvo World Cup final 12 years ago was won by Hugo Simon. Since that date, it's been won successively by either the United States or Canada. And now, John Whitaker, the man of the moment, the new World Cup champion. And John takes his hat off. He was nodding a little bit then because I think it was a very nasty moment for him when he came to the second last. So there's the result then. Henderson, Milton and John Whitaker winning for Great Britain on just four falls. In second place, Pierre Durand with Japalou for France. Frankie Sluthak in third place for Germany. Then comes Roger Yves Bost, also for France. Jan Tops in fifth place for Holland. And Nick Skelton finishes sixth with Burma Grand Slam.